All right, we got something new today here. Woo, we got foods that support the mental health. And uh, and the foods give a positive impact on your behavior. It's another option where as you may not have to, you know, take medication and some people, everything doesn't work for everybody, okay? And for you, uh, you basically use food as a way to help uh, control your behavior to diminish the anxiety and depressions that you would have. So, uh, what about fruit and vegetables? When I, when I use my fruits and vegetables, I eat a lot of like fruits like peaches, pomegranate, black cherries, Organic stuff, organic strawberries. And uh, how does that make you feel? How does it, that... it calms down my mood. And a lot of times when you get through eating fruits, what do you do? I just go to sleep. <laughs> I go to sleep and I calm down. All right. And then we have omega-3 fatty acids. And they're linked to lowering the risk of uh, depression and brain function and anxiety. Yeah. And some of those omega-3 acids uh, it's in olive oil, sardines, salmon, walnuts, and flax seeds. So tell us what um, what you eat for as omega fatty acids. What I eat for omega threes, I eat a lot of salmon. I eat a lot of I eat a lot of pecans and nuts and things like that. So when you're eating a fish, is that farm raised or is that? No, I hate farm raised fish because the way they treat the fish and don't even tell a hunter about farm raised fish because that's an insult to a to a regular fisherman and a hunter okay so we got a com complex carbohydrates this consists of whole grains beans lentils and this gives you boost that energy and uh, it helps regulate your mood so um what what breads do you eat What's I eat a lot of like fermented breads, like uh, sourdough, rye bread. Okay, so do you use olive oil on top of your? I bread? use, uh, yes, olive oil. Yes, I'm doing like the Italians and like the Europeans use olive oil in your bread. Okay, and now we'll go to our proteins. Proteins is uh, also something that uh, improves the, uh, your focus and concentration, and it regulates blood sugars. It's good for that diabetes they got uh eggs um meats which is great you know you probably use grass fed because i heard you say earlier that you use grass fed i do and um one of the things that i i noticed that you do is you won't eat meat after a certain time why is that because it'll make me hyper and it, and it intensifies my behavior and it keeps me up all night yeah the meat. well i know if you eat meat you know, later toward the night, you have kind of a uh, more of a weight gain. Yeah, I have more of a weight gain the next day. Okay, so um, your favorite, hydration. Water is the number one thing for a person to hydrate themselves. Yes, it, the right type of waters, like Pellegrino water. Those are very good for you. Get the Pellegrino water at Costco because that is the most way to get your water because you need minerals in your water. Don't get the still water. Be well, you know, uh, a lot of our bodies lack uh, minerals and uh, the Pellegrino water have a lot of- Have a lot of minerals. Yeah, have minerals in it and that helps us. But what else do you drink for hydration? What I drink is I drink a lot of smoothies. I drink a lot of teas. I stock up on teas. I stock, I drink a lot of smoothies. You uh, also drink, uh, you know, you kind of mix your juices together. What juices do you drink? Sometimes I have pomegranate juice. Sometimes I have like mango. You like grape juice? I like grape, I love grape juice. Love grape juice. Do you mix that with anything? Do you? Cause, but you gotta remember when you buying juices, you gotta make sure that they don't have like added sugars. Yeah, I just have to make sure it's it's pure grape juice, not added sugar and stuff. And to break some of those uh, carbohydrates no, down there, you take it and mix it with. Water. I mix it with some Pellegrino water to break up the sugar, mm -hmm. because that kills the sugar. It's the Pellegrino water. And also the 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 major. Um, Juices I noticed that you drink, you drink pomegranate, you drink grape juice, you drink uh, 
cranberry juice, and those things help the gut. Yes, and 70% of your body is affected by your gut. 70% folks. Of your immune system. Of your immune system. It's by your gut. If you if you get don't take care of your gut, you're gonna have a lot more cellular disease. And it's gonna destroy your mood, mentally and physically. You just had a glass of juice a few minutes ago. What did you drink? I dropped some pomegranate juice. Was it mixed with anything? It's mixed with palm it's mixed with some pellegrina. The best and cheapest way to get some pellegrina is stock up at Costco to get some pellegrina juice. All right. So now we're on to our fermented foods. What fermented foods do you eat? I eat a lot of like kimchi and cabbage. And do you eat sauerkraut? I eat a lot of sauerkraut. I eat, before I go walking or eat, I eat about one bowl of sauerkraut a day. It's a bowl. It's one of the little smaller. They long the small balls like a tablespoon of sauerkraut. Oh, a tablespoon. You take a tablespoon of sauerkraut. Do you like kefir? I love kefir. I love kefir and I love grass-fed milk. Sometimes you take. I notice that you take the kefir and you mix it in with a smoothie, you know, and add greens to kind of give your uh, smoothie, you know, the, the proteins where it's not all just fruit, you know. Yeah. To, balance, to help that balance. Okay. And it's good, once again, for gut bacteria. Yes. It, it supports your gut health. Now we come to the vitamin B. Oh, and that's, that helps the brain function. And this is your leafy greens. These are food rich in vitamin B. And these would be your leafy greens, your nuts, your seeds. And it reduces anxiety and depression. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel after you eat... Uh, I, I'm very calm when I eat those leafy greens, especially like mix, spring mix, mixy greens. And what got me started mixing greens was when I was at, um, like with Cascone, also another place, um, Dean and DeLuca that helped start with the leafy greens. And those type of places helped me start it with my leafy green life. If you was fixing a salad, how would you, um, go, what, what, uh, what would you recommend as one of the leafy greens that you eat in your salad? I would eat like like some mixed greens, like arugula was one, the peppery greens, mixed, mixed greens. What, what would you add to your salad? I would add everything, like 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 pecans, um, fruit, nuts. I would, um, Greek cheese, a lot of things. Okay, and what do you use as a salad dressing? Sometimes, I use like homemade, I use olive oil, and what else? And balsamic think? vinegar. Yeah. And like going to heavily getting balsamic vinegar and olive oil. That's all you need instead of going to the grocery store. And did you notice a weight change during that time? It suppressed your appetite. And, and with the olive oil, you had the uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Yes. You know. That's a good fat, not a bad fat. Okay. So we got, next we got the foods that's rich in magnesium. And this is for your nerve and muscle function. And you got your spinach, your almonds, you have avocado, dark chocolate. Um, and th and these are, you know, uh, magnesium is really a good mineral for the heart. Because a lot of people that uh, lack the mineral magnesium also have a tendency to have high blood pressure. So uh, for us, magnesium, and I know you love dark chocolate. Uh, tell us about the, the dark chocolate that you eat. I eat a lot of like a Gerinelli star chocolate. I eat, uh, I try to look for a chocolate that is at least about um, 75 to 80% chocolate, dark chocolate. Do you find that that's kind of bitter? <laughs> you, it's, it's bitter at first, but once you get used to it for your health and your benefits, you don't worry about the bitter taste of chocolate. Oh, okay. So, um, uh, spinach. You, I don't, I don't too much spinach. You, you I like like the fresh spinach on the salad and then the greens. Yeah. What 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 type of nuts you use in your salad? I use like pecans. I use cranberry, lot dry cranberries, pecans. So uh, overall, and like I said, everything doesn't work for a lot of people. And I know you've uh, always we've always used uh, foods to help, you know, with you when you kind of got out of pocket 
we would give you green tea and you and it would just relax you out yes you know you love chamomile tea you have all sorts of tea i do i i i can't get enough tea and it, it was always a very common effect even even when you wanted to uh when you felt a little nervous or anxious uh tell us what would you eat when you, you got a little anxious and nervous? When I got a little anxious and nervous, I would reach for the, some gum. Okay. If I could, if I, if I didn't have like the fruit, if I didn't have like the fruits or vegetables in my stuff, I would reach for some pecans, some almonds, things like that. Okay. Well, like a, uh, and also I noticed that you, uh, when you get a, 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 over, a little anxious and uh, you're going, kind of going back and forth and the, what they say, vacillating, going back and forth, um, you um, I always ask for like, you know, milk. You want some warm milk. Yeah, warm milk. And I noticed that that helps you. Sometimes you take your uh, chocolate and you melt it down. Yeah. When you milk. So overall, uh, this is just another way of people knowing that uh, there are other ways. There are other ways to treat your anxiety and depression. You don't need Xanax or other types of anxiety pills when you can take food that can help your behavior. And the good thing about food, the side effects is, it once you start eating healthy and, and you're eating things for your mental health, it's going to help your your body, your physical health also. Yes, you cannot separate mental health and physical health, period. Stop doing that. All right. So on that note, cheers to you. And you've done a good job in this video. And we're going to come back and we're going to talk about other ways to help us with our mental health. And I'll let you have the last word. What we need to do, well, my last word is like this. Why do you need, I mean, you don't have to go to an expensive regular psychologist. Just have some, just go and shop and use foods that can help you. There are other types of foods that can help you with your mental stress and your, and your physical stress as well. And that's all I got to say for now. And we'll come back with the next video. Peace.